hindi naman po tayo magbabago sa isang sa isang araw lang just by listening to God's word ng maraming beses sa isang araw bigla na lang magbabago yung imprints natin no kahit step by step nagawin nagawin niyo po ito it's okay it doesn't matter po bakit po the most important thing po is ma-imprint po si Kristo at maging rooted po siya sa buhay po ninyo Kapag tayo po ay nag-successful sa bagay po na ito, naturally po yung answer ng Mount Calvary, Mount Olives, and Mark's Upper Room ay marireceive po natin. Pero ano pong pinaka-importante bagay? To be imprinted in Christ. Ibig sabihin po nito, knowing that Christ is the offspring of woman, siya yung, ang tawag po nito, siya po yung main message po sa blood sacrifice siya po yung sinasabi sa Isaiah 7:14 na Emmanuel at siya po yung kinonfess po ni Simon Peter na Lord you are the Christ ibig sabihin po nang maimprinted po tayo kay Kristo ibig sabihin po nito believing that Christ finished everything it's enough po when we believe that Christ finished everything It's the end. It's finished already. Kasi kasi nga po, tinapos na lahat ng Kristo ang lahat ng bagay. So, to, to be imprinted in Christ, it's everything. Kapag tayo pong mga leader, kapag tayo po ay nag-success na ma-imprint sa mga bata yung gospel, matagumpay po tayo. Amen po ba? Ganon din po sa mga pastor, I think. Narinig ko po na Kapag yung mga kapag uh, sila ay nag-success na ma-imprint yung ma-imprint si Kristo sa mga remnants at mag-raise ng disciple, yung ministry po nila is very successful na. So ganoon din po sa ating mga leader. Um, we shouldn't uh, imprint wrong things sa mga remnants. Even yung unbe- yung, un- yung unbelief po natin yung mga bagay na hindi maganda sa atin since we have this gospel kailangan po natin i-imprint po ito sa kanila pero how can we help them? first as we have to enjoy this gospel to be the, to be gospel centered ibig sabihin po nito may imprint si Kristo po sa buhay po natin so ano po itong following the word prayer and evangelism Now, it's just yung word po ng enjoyment. Ito po yung word ng enjoyment. Word means accurately hold on to God's word. And prayer, kapag sa oras na pinanghawakan, may pinanghawakan po tayong word of God, then God will allow you to have a correct prayer. You have this, kasi meron kang, meron kang correct word na pinanghawakan, then God will allow you to have a correct prayer and yung every meetings ninyo ay magiging blessed meeting kahit sinong katagpuin ninyo magiging blessed meeting magiging way to open the door of evangelism kasi kayo nga po ay mga saksi so, so inside of this um, answer po ng ma-imprint kay Kristo yung answer of only po ay naroon. So, what is the answer of only? should always remember po na there are three curses na tinapos po ni Kristo. Iyon po ay power of Satan, the power of hell, and disaster. Amen po ba? Ibig sabihin po nito, really Christ finished the fundamental problem. Ibig sabihin ng fundamental problem, yung root problem. Ibig sabihin nito, Christ finish everything. So, walang bagay po na kailangan po ninyong alalahanin. Kaya po, yung answer of only po, kahit saan po kayo magpunta, the kingdom of God will establish on that place. Amin po ba? Ibig sabihin po nito, kahit saan ka naroon, kayo po ay magiging saksi ni Kristo. Magka- I think magkaiba po yung 
yung word na kahit saan ka pumunta at kahit saan ka naroon. Tama po Kahit saan ka pumunta, the kingdom of God will establish on that place. At kahit saan ka naroon, you will become Christ's witnesses. Amen po ba? Ito po ay answer ng only. Ibig sabihin po nito, enjoying the three offices of Christ, enjoying your identity and authority, enjoying that you being a witness of Christ. So, pangalawa po, ano pa pong, ano pa pong answer ng only po na ito? It is your CVDIP. So, ang CVDIP po ay hindi lang po para sa mga remnants. Always remember daw po. Sa CVDIP, ano pong pinaka-importante po dito? Your C, your covenant, si Jesus ang Kristo. This covenant, kung ang covenant po na ito ay papanghawakan po ninyo, ipapakita po ng Diyos yung vision na inihanda niya po sa buhay po ninyo. And inside of this covenant and vision, God will let you see yung dream na ibinigay niya rin po sa buhay po ninyo. Yung dream na ibinigay niya po sa buhay po ninyo. Kaya nga po, katulad po ni Joseph, di po ba? Si Joseph po, mula po sa pagkabata niya, yung covenant po na ito ay naipasa ng kanyang, ng kanyang tatay po sa kanya. Habang siya po ay Nung siya po ay bata pa, dahil narinig na ni Joseph yung covenant po na ito, then, through his father, nagkaroon po siya ng vision to the extent na yung vision po na ito ay napaniginipan niya. Naunawaan niyo po ba? Pero, yung dreams na ito sa mga remnants natin, kung ang dreams na ito ay magiging dream niyo lang, without the covenant, without the vision that God gave, magiging dreams lang siya. Then, hindi kayo makaka-move forward. Kaya, ano pong pinaka-importante? First, find your CV. Find your C. Discover what is your C. Discover your covenant na ibinigay ng Diyos. Then, of course, ang vision is world evangelization. Lagi niyong tandaan, lahat ng bagay na ginagawa ninyo, yung trabaho ninyo, is for world evangelization. The reason why you're studying, <coughs> the reason why you're, <coughs> sorry, why you're earning money, the reason bakit kayo nag, um, the true reason why you're um, working very hard it is for world evangelization pero if you are unaware sa bagay na ito then you will just do efforts your your own strength your own ideas pero having this and discovering your own covenant na ibinigay ng Diyos yung dream image at practice ninyo ay naturally nalalabas. So, ibig sabihin nito, sa loob ng CVDIP ninyo, nandoon yung answer ng uniqueness and recreation. di ba Katulad ni Joseph. Ano yung only niya? Meron siyang answer ng only. Yung tipong kahit naglilinis siya, he's in top. ba Kahit nasa kulungan siya, he's always in top top. Lagi nasa top. Why? Kasi meron siyang mystery sa lahat ng bagay na ginagawa niya. He really enjoyed that the Lord is with him. May kaiba ba sa atin? Wala. We are same. We are also remnants. We are also God's children. Kaya nga yung uniqueness niya is dahil sa lahat ng ginagawa niya, ina-enjoy niya nakasama niya ang Diyos, Kapag nakikita siya ng unbeliever, ng mga non-believers, anong nagiging confession nila? Oh, the Lord is with Joseph. Diba? Kaya anong naging, recre anong naging answer ng recreation niya? He was able to do 
Egypt evangelization. And through that Egypt evangelization, nangyari yung world evangelization. Is it hard to receive this kind of answer? No. No. When you just discover your covenant, your accurate covenant, it's God will give it to you. Amen? Wala nang time. Kaya ganun din yung mga pitong remnants, si Joseph, si Moises, si David, they also received this answer. Kaya you are the, uh, you are the one who remain. Those who remained will remain and will live behind. Always remember that. Pangatlo, the answer of nobody. So, being imprinted in Christ, lalabas yung answer of only. Having this answer of only means this the answer of nobody. Kayo yung nobody. Parang hindi, parang hindi maganda pakinggan yung nobody, right? Pero inside of this answer, merong iprinipare na great blessings ang Diyos sa inyo. So, ano tong answer of nobody? Means, tanging kayo lang yung makakapag-deliver, makakapagbigay ng healing, magiging witness, makakapagbigay ng evidence sa mga tao. Only you. Wala nang iba kundi kayo. This is the answer of nobody. Maraming mga maraming mga lugar na ang tao pwedeng puntahan pero only you children of God only you who have this gospel only you who have this accurate covenant can go to place that no one or nobody can go di ba At maraming mga nagagawa ang mga tao pero ikaw na anak ng Diyos there is something na only you can do What's that? World evangelization. Amen? Kaya, the answer of nobody means you are the main figure to do world evangelization. So, kaya, ano yung kailangan, yung, yung mensahe na kailangan yung panghawakan today? Having the conclusion sa answer ng Mount Calvary, Mount Olives, and Mark's Upper Room. So, if it's too hard to grapple the answer of Mount Olives and Mark's Upper Room sa buong week na ito, kahit yung answer lang ng Mount Calvary having the conclusion that Christ finished everything. That's the end. Kasi kapag meron kang conclusion nito, naturally, yung answer ng Mount Olives and Mark's Upper Room, you will receive also. Always remember that you are already spiritual summit. Diba? You are already spiritual summit. Since you're already spiritual summit, know your identity. That's your identity, being spiritual summit. Pero, without enjoying yung identity nyo na being spiritual summit, ito ay magiging mahirap. Diba? Kagaya ng example natin, kung ang prinsipe, prinsipe siya, pero without knowing his identity, without enjoying his identity, magiging mahirap yun. You are already... So, you have to... At least, enjoy your identity na ibinigay sa inyo ng Diyos. Huwag tayong maging unaware sa identity natin na anak, pagiging anak ng Diyos at spiritual summit. Kapag, naging, kapag hindi natin alam, kapag naging unaware tayo sa mga spiritual na mga bagay na ito, sa spiritual blessing na inihanda ng Diyos, then Satan is always ready to deceive us. Amen? Kaya, for our conclusion, Today, starting from today, starting from this day, let's begin confirming our answer. Amen? Pag sinabing, let's begin confirming our answer, yung answer na ibinigay na sa inyo ng Diyos. Answer that you have received already. So, let's challenge ourselves. Let's begin confirming our answer today. Not just today, every day. Every day. Ibig sabihin ng every day, your schedule. Your schedule, time schedule, yung schedule mo every day. Ibig sabihin nitong confirming your answer inside of the Word of God, inside of prayer, inside of evangelism. Kaya, reading the Bible at least one chapter a day, and may covenant ka, ito yung magiging great start ninyo. 
So, when you confirm this every day, through your schedule, hindi na siya magiging, hindi na siya magiging, uh, like, everyday lang or yung schedule lang. Magiging lifelong enjoyment yun na siya. Di ba? Kaya, and because of this, yung lifelong enjoyment niyo magiging lifelong masterpiece niyo. Your lifelong masterpiece ay nasa loob ng CVDIE. Yung D, dream. Pero without the covenant, hindi ka pwedeng magkaroon ng dream. Anong ibig sabihin nito? Kasi yung mga non-believers, meron silang mga great dreams. But ano yung kulang? They don't have covenant. Hindi dapat tayo maging katulad nila. We already have the covenant. Inside of that covenant, God will give us dream. So we have to discover it. Kaya nga, let's begin confirming our answer from today or um, starting from today, I mean. So, every day. Tapos yung every day na yun, magiging lifelong enjoyment din yun. Then yung lifelong enjoyment din yun, magiging nga lifelong masterpiece. Amen? Uh, tayo manalangin. Heavenly Lord God, maraming salamat po sa kasagutan na aming tinanggap Panginoon. Lord, kami po ay nagpapasalamat na tanging si Jesus lamang ang Kristo ang solusyon sa lahat ng aming mga problema. Salamat po Panginoon sa kasagutan ibinigay niyo po sa amin. Lord, help us to really enjoy the, the conclusion, having the conclusion, Panginoon, na we already have the answer of Mount Calvary, Mount Olives, and Mark's Upper Room, Father God. So that inside of this answer, Panginoon, kami po ay maging imprinted lamang kay Kristo. Hindi po sa sarili po namin kakayanan, Panginoon, o kalakasan, but through the word na ibibigay niyo po sa amin. Help us, Father God, to ride the flow of your gospel, the covenant, Lord God, upang panghawakan po namin ang covenant po ninyo today. Maraming maraming salamat po. May we grab po the covenant of Acts 1, 1, 1, 3, and 8. Only Christ, only Kingdom of God, and only the filling of the Holy Spirit. Maraming maraming salamat po, Panginoon, sa pangalan ni Jesus.